Would you like to create a more personalized experience for your user? Let me show you how to insert or pipe answers from previous questions into later questions in your form. Hey job formers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly and the form I have set up currently just has a name and an address. And my thought process behind this is maybe later in the form, I want them to place their name again, maybe for another reason. And I want it to make it easy so I don't have to do it again. Just copy that name that they put in the first time and put it in the second one. And then let's say they're maybe ordering something and I need their shipping address. And then I also want to verify their billing address. But again, make it simple. If it's the same, a click of a button will allow it to copy from the shipping address down to the billing. So like I said, I have the name and I have an address. Let me go ahead and change this to shipping so that way it's clear for us. And then let's go over to the basic elements and let's do multiple choice and we'll say is your billing address the same as your shipping and so then we'll give them two options yes or no then we'll get rid of these other two then we'll go back up and we're going to add that second address and this is going to be the billing and then we'll also add in that name again, just so I can show you what that looks like. So now that we have all the fields in our form, we're gonna go up to the top, we're gonna to go to settings, then conditions, and then we're going to use the second option, the update slash calculate field. So let's go ahead and do the name field. So if the name field is filled, then we want it to copy the field's value from the name down to the second name perfect so now let's do a new condition for the address we're going to do it again update calculate field so if the billing address that checkbox right so if it is equal to yes then we want to copy a field's value and we want the shipping address to be pasted down into the billing address perfect so let's go ahead up to publish we'll open a new tab and we'll give this a test all right, so here is our form. We can see it is currently empty. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter in my name. Perfect, so let's scroll down. And my name has been entered at the bottom as well. So let's go ahead and enter in an address. All right, so we can see that it didn't copy it down, right, to the billing address because we have to choose if it is the same by checking yes or no. So if I choose no, then I have to physically enter in that billing address. But if I choose yes instead, look how simple that process is for my user. They don't have to waste time filling in that information. It automatically piped or inserted that answer for them. And it's as simple as that. If you have any questions about answer piping, please let us know and I'll see you next time.